Welcome to your 15 minute stability physio ball strength. So you're gonna need a set of dumbbells and a high burst capacity physio ball, but if you don't have that, the floor will work just fine. So today's workout, we're gonna start with a four minute warm up. We'll be doing a quadruped bird dog, reaching opposite arm, opposite leg, activating the core. A glute bridge with a pullover. So again, activating the core, stretching out those lat muscles. Then we're gonna do a single leg lateral tap each side. We're then gonna go into a 50 on, 10 off, strength and stability exercises. So a physio ball, alternating chest press, so one arm at a time. Then we're gonna go to a lunge with a dumbbell row on one side, a physio ball glute bridge, and then the lunge with the row on the opposite side. Let's hit it. All right, 45 seconds in each one. We're going to that quadruped bird dog. Hands under the arms, knees under the hips, our feet are flexed, so we're pushing back through those toes. We have a neutral back, so that means we have that small arch in our back and a gentle pull in on our belly. We're gonna reach opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching along, squeezing the glutes, stabilizing everything, keeping our back nice and neutral. We have eight seconds before we flip over onto our back for that glute bridge to pull over. Here we go. So toes, knees, hips, nice straight line. We're gonna lift those hips up, squeeze the glutes, set them back down, lock those arms and reach those arms overhead. You can reach to the thumbs up. You can put the thumb down and reach to the top of the fist or you can reach all the way back to the flat hands. The key to this good pullover position is our arms are locked nice and straight. And as we reach overhead, our shoulders stay away from those ears. That's commonly gonna be felt as a stretch along the outside of the armpits. 10 seconds and we're gonna jump up to those feet for our single leg balance with our lateral tap, getting our glutes turned on even further. So up to balance, balancing on one leg. We're gonna tap our toes out to the side. All of our weight stays on the one leg. We're not shifting at all. Our toes are pointed straight ahead. We're standing up nice and tall. And as we tap out to the side, we're squeezing those glutes. Again, we've got that gentle pull in on that belly button. It should feel like it's pulling away from your waistband. My chin is tucked and my head is pushed back. So my ears, shoulders and hips are in a nice straight line. Big squeeze on the glutes, working that balance, waking up that stability, five seconds. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Set yourself up, get your balance. Hips are nice and square. You may notice this, you're gonna feel it waking up those glutes. As we tap out to the side, we don't want those hips moving anywhere. So you're gonna feel that warming up the hips, but you may also feel this kind of creeping down into the outside of that calf, into the arch of that foot. It's important, we wanna work those stability muscles that support the arch of our feet and support our balance. Stay up nice and tall. This is our last exercise in our warm up. So, getting everything nice and warm, and we're gonna go to that physio ball alternating chest press and then that lunge to row. In two seconds, keep those feet moving. I'm gonna demonstrate the physio ball chest press. So, onto the physio ball, roll out to the head and shoulders are supported. We're gonna punch those hands up to the ceiling and then one arm at a time goes down, pushes back up, down and up, all right? Alternating for that entire work period, 75 seconds on, 15 off. Then the second exercise is that lunge with the row. All right, come with me for that physio ball, alternating chest press. Head and shoulders supported, Belly button gently pulled in as those glutes are nice and tight. Our toes, knees, and hips are in a nice straight line. 
as we bring one arm down, the dumbbell's in line with the middle of that sternum. If you do not have a physio ball, you can simply do these on the floor. I would recommend doing it in a declined position. So that way you can really feel that challenge in the rotation and still activate that core and that stability that we're trying to work throughout this workout here. All right, we've got 28 seconds. Focusing on not letting that body rotate. Feeling that chest activate as we push up and squeeze. And then leave that arm up there. 10 seconds with control, with purpose. You control that dumbbell too. Beautiful work. One dumbbell gets put down. The other dumbbell, we're going to that lunge with the row. So our feet are staggered. All of our toes are pushed onto the floor. Get ready to join me in two. We're going down into that lunge, up. And then we're gonna pull that dumbbell towards our hip. So notice my feet stay hip width apart. My back leg is nice and straight. I'm pushing through those toes. I'm not putting my back foot nice and flat. I'm using those toes, squeezing those glutes. I have a small incline in that chest, but my head to heel is nice and neutral. I'm supporting my body by using my front arm on that leg. My belly button has a gentle pull in and I'm squeezing that dumbbell towards my hip without letting my body rotate, without letting that chin come forward and keeping everything nice and controlled. Big squeeze up guys. You're going to feel this creeping in, in the glute on that front leg. Whoo, baby. You're also going to feel this working along the outside of that armpit, the back of the shoulder, and in the front of that arm. Three seconds. One last one. We're going to a physio ball glute bridge. So again, we can put a single weight on our hips. We're going to walk those feet out. Toes, knees, hips, nice straight line. Head and shoulders supported. Lift those hips up, come with me. Here we go. Big squeeze on those glutes. Gentle pull in on that belly button at the very top. It's not about how high you can go. It's about how neutral can you get really. You wanna squeeze the bum without that back arching and support that spine with that belly button in. And this weight is not very heavy. But with a good solid glute squeeze, oh baby, you're gonna feel it. Especially on the side that was just in front for that lunge with the row. Oh my goodness. Really important, toes stay straight ahead in line with those knees, in line with those hips. Big up and squeeze. Great control, great position making every movement purposeful and strong. Beautiful work, guys. 13 seconds, just a couple more repetitions. We're gonna go back to that lunge with the row in four. Beautiful work. So notice we have longer time spans today. So these repetitions are gonna be 12 plus. Whatever arm you worked in that first round for the lunge with the row, you're doing the opposite arm this round. So lunging down, big squeeze up, come with me. Here we go, down. Remember, the feet stay hip width apart. All five toes on that back foot are pushing through the floor. This helps keep the heel stacked over top of those toes. In the lunge, really important. At the very top, we squeeze that glute, gently pull in that belly button, support our back, and we squeeze that elbow, that dumbbell towards the hip. Okay, we don't wanna to pull too high. We wanna to pull towards that mid torso, the base of the rib cage, or like you're putting the dumbbell in your pocket. 
our chin is tucked and the head is pushed back. This helps proper shoulder position. It helps us get everything we can out of it without agitating our shoulders, agitating our patterns that feel like we're carrying a lot of stress up here. Eight seconds, it's about two more repetitions. Control down, big pull and squeeze up. Woo, shake it out. Guys, these rounds are longer, but the benefit is, whoop, whoop, you only have to do two rounds. Physio ball, alternating chest press. In three, get ready, here we go. Head and shoulders supported. Glutes tight, belly button in. Control that down. Big push and squeeze up. Now you might have noticed I switched dumbbells. I made my dumbbells a little bit heavier for this round. I want to make sure that I'm challenging my body. So don't be afraid to go up and wait. If you didn't feel like that, that amount of time and that weight challenged your body. The last two or three repetitions should be hard, burning, without having broken form. We're already over halfway. Keep up the strong position. Elbow, <sighs> dropping down so those dumbbells are in line with the middle of that sternum. Chest, <sighs> glutes tight, belly button in, chest is burning. The front of the shoulders, we're under 10 seconds. Try to keep each side even. This is it. And I'm gonna do one last one just to keep it even and finish it strong. We're putting down one dumbbell and we're going to that lunge to row in four seconds. So stagger those feet. That hand is on the front leg for support. Big pull back and squeeze towards the hip, long and tall from head to heel, no rotation in the core, each movement strong and purposeful, Woo! work in those 90 degree angles at the bottom, you might notice that I'm tapping my knee down, you don't have to tap all the way to the floor. I'm on carpet, so it's not gonna hurt me if I tap down. All right, if you're on a hard surface, you might wanna be aware and be focused on not letting that knee tap. But if you're controlling that down, if you're constantly under control, then it should never be a hard tap down even if you're on a hard surface. 10 seconds, guys. That's only two to three repetitions. I know my right hip is screaming as I work that stability. <sighs> Grab that physio ball again for that physio ball glute bridge. Dumbbells at the hips, walk those feet out. Toes, knees, hips, nice straight line. Head and shoulders supported, come with me. Here we go, hips up. Glutes tight, belly button in. Working on keeping those toes straight ahead in that good knee alignment, not letting those knees go out or in as we work that control. Exhale as you squeeze up. Nice control back down. And this, just like that, the chest press can be done right on the floor. You do not have to have a physio ball, but those of you who do, it sure is fun, right? It certainly takes these exercises for stability to the next level. Great control. Big squeeze at the top with or without heavy weights. You're going to feel this working. The sides of the hips, the top and back of those glutes. You're down to 15 seconds. You're on the home stretch. These nice 15 minute workouts are gonna fly by. Three more seconds to finish. Yes. Woo. Set that 
physio ball off to the side, switching hands and legs for that lunge to row. Remember, back leg nice and straight, toes pushing through the floor. Here we go, final exercise and our strength and stability, 15 minute physio ball workout. Down, squeeze that glute, belly button in, big pull towards that hip. You're long, tall, and strong. And you're gonna be feeling challenged at this point, at least I hope. This interval certainly doesn't let you be a fan of heart, right? especially with the lunge to row working, those legs and those hips. You're gonna feel it right in the outside of those glutes. I want you feeling it along the outside of that armpit, not necessarily squeezing the shoulder blades together. As you lift and just squeeze towards that hip, six seconds. Almost there. Beautiful work. You made it to the finish line. We're gonna stretch out the adductor muscles, those muscles that pull our knees in. Toes straight ahead, feet wide. We're gonna step one foot slightly forward. We're gonna lean into that slightly forward leg and we're gonna squeeze those glutes, tuck those hips under. Big stretch to the inside of that thigh, chest up nice and tall, because at this point you get to be super proud of your hard work, right? Enjoy that stretch to the inside of that thigh. Go ahead and switch sides. These truncated workouts have truncated stretching. So if you are feeling tighter, and you're not feeling that release and stretching sensation, please come back to these. They are important. Do them in front of the TV tonight when you're relaxing. We're gonna drop down to that knee. Feet hip width apart, back toe tucked under. We're gonna squeeze the glutes under. You can then reach up towards the ceiling or add a lean over to the side. Only if we feel that increases the stretching sensation in the front of that hip and down into that thigh. Remember, it's a big tuck under on the pelvis, so we get that nice big stretch. Those muscles that get super tight, go ahead and switch sides. Big squeeze under, then reach, then lean, only if we feel that increase in stretching sensation. Shoulder away from those ears. Big squeeze if you have to get back to work after this or you're doing this after a long stressful day and this was your 15 minutes for you. I'm proud of you for finishing. I'm proud of you for making it count and joining me. I hope you feel great and you're doing awesome and that you found balance and motion. Thank you for joining me and I hope you got a great workout. I'll see you next time.